Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Subnautica, a fantastic sea-based exploration and build game. Let's call it that. Today we're going to look at finding swim charge fins. These devices, when collected and fitted to your diver, whilst you swim, will charge the device. Now how do you find them? Here are the camera coordinates. Now to get the camera coordinates, press F3 to open a sub menu and that will appear in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Then press F8 to free the mouse to wiggle it around. The coordinates you're looking for are 211.9 minus 140.3 and minus 906.7 now don't worry if you can't find that it's quite simple to go and find really easy to go and find this swim charge fin item sits directly above the lava vents okay there's a massive pool of lava vents way over to one side of the map that's where you're going to find a part of the wrecked Aurora vessel, which when you get inside, you can then open up some boxes and get this blueprint. All quite easy. So I've taken my Cyclops submarine all the way over there. It's all quite dark because you are quite deep down, you know, 149 meters, 152 meters. Um, make your way over. Have a good look around all the scattered debris around the outside of this part of the vessel but you will find a door right just down to the left hand side you see the big white door that's not it you want the little white door now click on open and this will be the same on the consoles as well my kids play this on the consoles exactly the same that gets you in have a good look around nothing in this area to find you want to go through that big rent in the side of the hull straight through there into the next section and there you can see a data box open that and that is where you get your swim charge fins in subnautica dead easy now swim charge fins what do you need to make them because getting the blueprint is just not enough you're gonna need quite a few items okay and once you've got that blueprint it will reveal those items to you now swim charge fins there you go wirelessly charges your held tool while you swim you need polythene wiring kit and fins no problem we'll explore how to get all those things in just a moment now the fins are not the fins you're probably generally going to have if you've got all this far out i'm using ultra glide fins at the moment these are standard bog standard fins that you get when you first start off now you can create fins by getting some silicon rubber okay get some silicon rubber no problems there make a set of fins get hydrochloric acid get some deep shrooms get some salt get them into now once you get that you're gonna have to try and make polyaniline now polyaniline is used with hydrochloric acid and gold gold laying around on this planet just pick it up off the seabed dead easy so make some hydro get some hydrochloric acid we've made that get some gold put it into that replicator device out comes polyaniline now once you've got your polyaniline you want to then mix that with a wiring kit dead easy need a bit of copper for that and then you need a set of normal fins i can't stress this enough when i was going through making this the first time i thought right okay i've got my fins take my fins off my diver let's put them into my um inventory go to the, the device let's make some supercharged fins oh no i could not make any supercharged fins because i was using ultra glide ultra glide fins right anyway once you've made standard fins you have to then go and find a modification station that you've made now the modification station is great for making upgrades all right i've got one in the moon pool in the base no dramas at all now if you need to get some um normal fins you've upgraded and where they are well it's dead easy really the creeper vines right and the seeds of the creeper vines as you can see here that cluster 
when you get two of those put them into that replicator machine you make a tool and then that's going to give you effectively silicon rubber two silicon rubber get you some fins now for those who've been playing the game where the creeper vines are okay and i'm going to harvest all of those if you go to the bottom have a good look around as well always worthwhile picking up some additional materials but one of my videos also deals with where to find deep shrooms um look it up it's all on youtube and there it'll tell you to find those deep shrooms as well with some blood kelp uh, and benazine which can be made from that okay so we've got um our fins no dramas there okay let's just check we've got our fins We've got our deep shrooms, we've got our polyaniline, we've got our wiring kit. Now, all we have to do is go and get access to a mod station. Like I mentioned, got that in the moon pool. We're going to rock on through the base now, and when we do, we're then going to create this upgrade. So, just checking that bioreactor, no dramas. So here I am in my moon pool, and this is where I've generally put all the stuff for engineering. Here's my modification station. You can see straight away supercharge fins or swim charge fins are straight there. Right, so click on that. It creates them. And now as I swim, I can charge the device that I hold. Dead easy. Hey, I've been Ricardo. Thanks for watching. If you haven't done so, hit that like and subscribe button. Because you know what? A like and subscribe these days on YouTube does go a long way. Subnautica is a great game. Below Zero is also out now in full release. And I think that's going to be worthwhile doing. And more videos than that will be on its way. Thanks for watching. See you soon. And don't get eaten by anything nasty. <laughs>